watched my last video that I posted before this one, you guys will know that I'm about to get on the road for full-time traveling for five months to go explore beautiful mother nature in all these states. Um, I plan on hitting about 15, 16 states during these five months. Um, so one of the things that I'm going to be doing in these five months besides sharing with you guys all these beautiful places that I get to see, um, I'm also going to be filming all these places that I stay at. Um, I mentioned in my last video that I'm going to be staying in established places uh, for my safety. I just feel uncomfortable staying in the middle of nowhere by myself. Um, but these places are basically properties that people own and there's a website that I've been finding a lot of them on. So it's just basically private property and places that uh, have like hundreds if not thousands of acres of land and so you're not really camping beside anybody and you still feel like you're in the middle of nowhere by yourself because that's what I want. But for my safety, I feel more safe staying on these private properties and doing it this way. So I'm going to be filming all the, not all of them, but a lot of the places that I'm going to be camping at so I can share that with you guys also. So, yeah. So the place that I'm at today is called Camp B and it's in Natarita, Colorado. And it's a pretty cool artsy campground. It's 120 acres of private property. They have a whole bunch of art structures all over the place. There's two sections of the property. One section where I'm at is for tent campers. There's a pond and the tent sites are pretty spread out. I'm literally over here in the woods by a creek all by myself. And then like half a block down the road, you drive up this hill. When you drive up the hill, that's where they have some glamping tents, uh, cabins, and uh, oh, and RV spots. But that's also where all their art structures are and everything. So they have a lot of artsy stuff up there. So yeah, so I'm gonna give you guys a tour of this awesome camp that I'm at. What an awesome camp for this to be the first one that I go to for this five month journey that I'm on. So this was a, definitely a nice little stop. So, so let's go check it out. So this is their Wi-Fi lounge. They do have Wi-Fi here, but not throughout the property. So this is such a cute little idea that they had. Um, this is at the beginning of the entrance. Um, yeah, there's like a little school bus here, a bunch of chairs and comfortable chairs. And they made it look really cute and everything. And then bathrooms right beside it. And so you can just come up here and lounge and use the Wi-Fi. So cute. And it goes with their little artsy theme that they have going on.
Okay, so this is my little site that I have. There's my beautiful Jeep. <laughs> I put my tent over here because the, the trees were over it. And so that's nice to have for the, the shade. Got my solar panel out charging my solar generator. Little one's going to get some water because it's a little warm right now. So, nothing behind me. Then over here, we had the picnic table. Nothing over there, just a bunch of woods. And the fire ring. And which is really nice because right here, we have a creek. So listening to that water is really nice. So this morning when I woke up, I set my little little mat right there on the ground did some meditation listening to the water flowing it was very peaceful So this is all over on the tent side. The pretty sunflowers. We have a pretty awesome pond. This thing just floats on all through the pond. That's pretty cool. Looks like over there is an inflatable kayak, so maybe they rent out kayaks here too, so you can float on their pond with it. So they do have camp posts here, and when you arrive, you go and meet the camp hosts. The camp host that I met, she was pretty awesome, and oh, and I just met the other camp host. He was really nice too, came and introduced himself. Um, so yeah, they give you this little, this little map of the area, and it just explains their uh, campground and stuff. So I told you that the name of the campground is Camp V. Well, V stands for Van Corum. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I think I am. So it's 120 acres plus, and uh, it was built by the Van Vanadium Mining Corporation of America in 1942 to house the engineers who worked at the nearby uranium mill. So there's a lot of mining in this area. It was affectionately called Snob Hill as it was home to many of the bosses of the former mining company that ultimately closed down in the 1970s. So it's pretty cool. There's some history to this campground. So that's pretty cool.
bug spray. Bug spray. I forgot my bug spray. Um, so I've been getting eat up by bugs. So that one felt empty. <clears throat> Feels like there's a little bit more in this. A little bit. I assume that's why they have it here. <laughs> Cause I'm getting ate up. <laughs> This cabin up here is where the camp hosts are and everything. So you already know, hold on, show you. How cute is that, 1942? You already know I feel like I'm at home when I pull up to the camp host cabin and I see this right here. Can you guys see that? Peace. Definitely at home. <laughs>